Upgrading new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. Hello Spidely, good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world today and thank you for joining us again for our Subnautica playthrough. So as you can see we are already out and about, we've been doing some surveying of some old crash sites we've been past and we have managed to find the first moon pool fragment and we also got lucky and found a second one. We've also come across a crash site here with a sealed door so we're going to head inside of here see how we get on see if there's any goodies that we can find in here um, we've already got the laser cutter that's how we got in here so be a bit of a weird one that we need a laser cutter to get in here to get it so the plan of action for today is I really want to get the modification station piece that we need. We still haven't managed to find one yet. We've headed back to the Gassia Island as we have pointed out to us in the last episode. And we did actually miss a PDA. So we've headed back and gone and collected that. Can you kindly move out of the way? Thank you. Oh, a data box. We love a good data box. Lightweight, high cost tank. Nice, what are you? Oh, propulsion cannon fragment, we'll take that as well. Excellent. Battery charge, we've got mobile vehicle bay. That's another propulsion fragment. Can we get you? Yes, we can. Excellent. Now, let's head on back towards the homeland. Just head on. There we go. So we've just moved it to this side. Just because I feel that the clearance is going to be a lot easier for us to get the seam off underneath. Lovely. So if we jump in all the seam off, we should just be able to dive right under. There we go. Yes, boys and girls. After weeks without human contact, excellent. it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Oh, excellent. We're recharging the battery as well. That's fantastic. Oh, I wasn't aware that we recharged the battery doing this. Brilliant. So, what else can we actually build? So, now we found, yeah, we found a power cell charger part. So, we need another one of those. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to I'm just going to have a run around the base and see what we, else we can do. Can we add any of the reinforced plates into the moon pool? Well, it would be cool if we could. Oh, we can. I didn't think we would be able to. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, excellent. So what we'll do is we'll do the end too if we can. Got any more metal salvage? Uh, we've got titanium, we can build it. Only oh, lithium. Let's go and get another piece of lithium from our storage. I think what we might do with the multi purpose room we've got here off the side was going to do this as a bedroom, what I might do is take the windows out and turn this into a dedicated storage area. So we'll take this cross area off and this here so we get rid of these stairs. We've just got the entry points in this way. Yeah, and what I might do here is can we add. Yes, we can. I'm hoping. Might be a no. Huh. Hoping we'll be able to add a ladder in somewhere. Okay. The rethink that one then. Yes, what I think is we might take this lot off actually. Oh, 
as we've been chatting and talking away, look at this last one built here. So we've got plenty of hull strength now. Seamoth should be nice and healthy. Excellent, she is. So then, let's go and see if we can find the mushroom area. Job. All systems online. So we've got some. Seeing a lot. What is this? What on earth is this? What have we stumbled across here? Scanner, what we got a scanner for? Alien Arch. Oh wow. So we just got some sort of gateway to something. Maybe something to do with that first island we found. That force field thing we did. Hmm. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Oh, we're not in Kansas anymore, boys and girls. Oh, what are you? Oh! Leviathan class, life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? Oh, that thing doesn't look pretty. Get on into the moon pool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to drop our wares off. We're going to get ourselves some water. Light stick, that's good. What's the light stick? Oh, what is that? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Stay away. Yes, we've got the modification station. Superb. New blueprint acquired. What else can we find? New blueprint acquired. Oh, there's a lot of. Uh... <gasps> no, leave the sea moth alone. Dare you? Only I'm allowed to destroy this thing, not you guys. Really? Just a storage container with water in it. Oh, no, data box. Right, we need to find our way out. No, how do we get out? How do we get out? There it is. Thirty seconds. Yes, I know. Seamoth is just here. Uh, oh, we got it. Superb. Right, we're going to head on back then as we've got the modification station and see what goodies we can reveal. Welcome uh, to 
Very gently. So we are going to build the modification station. Right, let's get you down. You are an important piece of kit. Let's see what good is we can do. Ooh, so we can get the depth module. Oh, we need to get some magnetite. Well, I've never even come across magnetite yet. So we need a high capacity O2 tank and four pieces of lithium. So we need lithium and two bits of silicon rubber. We can make you. What's that going to put us to? Oh, it's not equipped, okay. So we've got the... Oh, those people. So we've got the ultra glide fins on that's his swim speed compared to regulars excellent lightweight we don't want you we want you in instead so we've gone from 135 oh wow oh wow oh 225 yes now we are talking so the next plan of action i think what we'll do is we'll head over to this area as it's a bit deeper, we've now got better oxygen. Got a feeling that's going to where we're going to find the magnetite that we need. Ah, vehicle upgrade console. There we go. So we need another computer chip and some more, and another wire. Okay. Ah, it goes on the wall. Right. Okay. Yeah, we'll put you there. Oh, we need more copper wire. Yeah. Ah, it's in here, okay. So we've got the seam of modules. We need titanium ingot, two pieces of glass. Yeah. Access upgrades. Let's plonk you in. Superb. Current depth now 300. Excellent. So we are now going to head on over with our new sexy colours. We're going to head on over to the second officer location. Oh, another time capsule. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Wait a second. We've already been to this one. That's the one that we want. We're absolutely nowhere friggin' near it. Right, okay. Oh. Ooh, hello. Things have just got a bit... Oh, what on earth is that? Thing does not look happy. The conditions in this field support Welcome a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. They don't like anything I want to be involved in, to be honest. Why would they pick this place to live? Oh, magnetized. Yes. And a piece of magnetized. And another piece. PDA is it not? Yes. 
Integrating new PDA data. Ooh. Get them off, get them off, get them off. Ah. Don't come near me, don't come near me. Uh, uh, no, no, no. That's it, disappear, good lad. It would be nice to get inside this thing. Right, we're gonna stay away from these things over there, it says Stinger on it. So that can't be good if it's got the word Stinger on it. PDA, can get to it, yes. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, water filtration. That's a good find. Oh, another PDA. Signal location upgraded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Right, let's try again. Ah, that hurt. Oh, that was a lot of health. There's nothing down there. There's a room here. Oh, got a bed. You might be able to like, sleep through the night or something. Oh, we've got a data box. That better be something worthwhile. I need to take you because we're running low. Any water? We've got another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Let's try the ladder. Another PDA, excellent. Integrating new PDA data. Nothing there but a whole lot of pain. Right, okay, let's navigate our way back to our girl. There she is. Immediately get up and out of the way of them snaky things. No dent in the roof. What is that everything down here? I'm sure there's got to be more going on down here. I want to see lights and foundations and a storage container. We shall take you. Thank you very much. To the battery. There's got to be more going on down here. There can't just be that one little base bit. Oh, I see something in the distance. Yeah. Got the foundation with some bits and pieces on. Nothing here. Oh, come on. So the thermal guys are an arm. Wow. I think we want to be near that when she goes. Oh. We've got another one. Access it. In fact, we need to get the storage for this. Just thought of that. Right. Now the blazes do we get out of here? Fly near to the roof. Sounds like some really nasty things down here, other than these snakes. Well, that was the, the foundation we found. There is, so it's up this way. There it is. Bingo. Right, so why? 
Has that beacon gone? There we go. So we'll leave that one on because that is going to allow us to get back to the magnetoids. We could do with finding something to eat. Ooh, just about got through. Isn't that far away, really? So then, we need to grab ourselves some food. Well, we need to get Stalker Tooth. I'd like to get Stalker Tooth before we finish today. I'm guessing it must be around this area. That's what we found out from trying to attack that one. Them Stalkers are the things that grab the mouse out of it. If anybody's got any ideas, please don't hesitate to chuck it in the comments to give me a hand on how to find them. You know, do, they, do they disappear? Can we, can we attack these to to find them. Ow, you little... So we can sort the plus deal out, no problem. I'm going to heal you up. All systems online. Give me your teeth. How do I get your teeth? How do I get your teeth? Well, I gave up with the stalker teeth, guys. It's taken far too long to fathom how to do this, so... We'll have a little play off camera. See if we can find out anything. I don't want to go searching for stuff on YouTube and that, because like I said, it's I'm trying to be playing this through blind like we've never played it before, and I don't want to, you know, go through YouTube to, to find out tips and tricks. You know, if you guys want to drop in the comments, please feel free. I'm more than happy for you guys to, to help teach me, but, you know, I'm just really struggling to work out how to find these tips. I'm finding them with the scanner and the cameras, and yeah, they're just not there when we get there, so... And in terms of upgrades, or storage module, oh, that'll be handy. That would be handy. I think we can make that. So I think we'll make those two. Okay, let's quickly go and make those two, I think. I think that then will be enough for us to finish off the episode. So we've got the goodies. So let's make the module. So we want the storage module. We want the Seamoth Sonar. I wonder if that's going to allow us to find items. So let's put you in. Let's put you in. Excellent. Let's just see what this Sonar upgrade does. It does what I'm expecting it to do. I'm going to quickly go and have a look for... Roll the mouse wheel. Oh. What's that doing then? Is that going to highlight anything for us, maybe? No. So, a dedicated system for detecting and displaying topographical data. Okay, maybe it's not what I thought it was going to be. I've got the storage stuck on there. Okay, right, we'll head on back then. So, I say we'll quickly go through the PDA data logs. 
I mean, as I say, I think we shall call it a day. Okay, so let's go through the PDA that we found. So we've got the moon pool, and we've got the water filtration system. Geological, we found the magnetites and the shale outcrops. Indigenous life forms, that's going to be the shark and the stalker, yeah. That's going to be the longest snow can be used by press to large attackers, will also be used. Stalker teeth may have applications in and glass, yes, we know that, but how do we get them? That time capture we found as well, good luck, things might have gone easier for me. If I had this equipment, may it serve you well? Oh, okay. No idea what equipment we got from that, but thank you. Uh, we've got the alien data. Alien arch. Tenebris is unclear. Ceremonial religious role. Industrial application. Advanced transportation network. Oh, transportation network. That'd be a good one. Of course, we could just like zip across the place here. Yeah? The inflow vents drawing water from the surrounding area. Pump get to an unknown location by the surface. Warm the oxygen towards being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without any sign of distress. Interesting. And then the Degassi survivors. So we found that other one. Let's try this one. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Mayda thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> These conniving corporate bourgeois, inbred, incompetent, self-absorbed jerks don't have a damn clue. The kid's not so bad. He's even useful. But I swear, everything that comes out of his father's idiot face is a narcissistic lie. If he wants to stay in this cave, his problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enameled glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. 
Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. On to I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Right, let's hope Bart tells us here how we can get our stalker teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest armed with just a heat blade and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals, but father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. So, if what Bart is saying then, is maybe if we can drop metal salvage pieces... Where did he say it? There, they're attracted to metal deposits. I wonder if we pick up the metal drop it. Ah, okay, that's something to try in the next one. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. The father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Well, sounds like things didn't go too well for them all. Well then Spidelings, thank you very much for joining me on today's episode. So we've gone a bit deeper into the abyss. We came across something that looked a little bit dodgy. I'm not quite sure what it was, but we got the hell out of Dodge, thank the Lord. So on the next episode, we're going to look at carrying on the progression of the storyline. 
We'll start off seeing if we can get that um, trick with the stalkers to work that Bars just informed us of. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, again, if there's anything that you can give me tips and tricks while I was like giving anything away, please don't hesitate, hesitate to drop it into the comments. If you've enjoyed yourself, you want to keep coming along for the ride and get the notifications of when these videos are going live, don't be afraid to stick it to that subscribe button. And if you've liked the episode itself, please do not be afraid to hit the like button. So without further ado, spoilings, that just leaves me to wish you all a wonderful day. Catch you in the next one.